People often talk about the co-op principles, the list of the guidelines that many cooperatives follow. But this is actually the ICA's definition of a co-op. An autonomous association of people united voluntarily to meet common economic, social, and cultural needs and aspirations through a jointly owned and democratically controlled enterprise. And one of the critical things about this definition, one of the things that I think they got right when uh, uh, Professor Ian McPherson and his committee put this definition together, is they put in the word association and they put in the word enterprise. And a cooperative is both those things. Every cooperative everywhere, by definition, is both an association of people, a democratic association, and it's an enterprise. And an enterprise is something that takes risks, it acts in markets of some kind, it's exposed to success and failure, um, and it, uh, it has some kind of a bottom line that it needs to meet. That combination or that dual character of being an association and an enterprise is an important thing to think about when times are changing. Co-ops to be really successful, to be completely successful, need to be successful associations as well as successful enterprises. They need to engage and involve members, have a common sense of identity, but they also have to succeed in markets. And that uh, puts them in an interesting situation when it comes to uh, turbulent economic times.